<laughs> That's a good intro, you gotta admit That's a that. Good intro. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a Willanic and today I'm going to show you the most expensive, most premium pair of inline skates in the world. Am I right? I think so. <laughs> we can do whatever we want with the price. So yes. We got Mr. Peter, I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, Venant. That? What do we have here? Let's try to make it like a bit of, it's really hard because the two of us talk too much and we like yeah. too much of this. So let's try to make it a two nerds video. Let's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So what do we have here? So we have the Masterpiece Collection, which is uh, a different type of adapts that people are known to. And uh, this is all handmade by myself. And the idea behind Masterpieces- Here in the back. Here, exactly. The idea behind Masterpieces is that we try to push the envelope, not one, but two steps every time. So when somebody would think of, oh, this is good enough, it's not good enough for us. So then we <laughs> want to think like, okay, how can we expand this? How can we make it better? And uh, this year we took this like to a new level where before it was Super Legera, a free skate based, uh, the one that you have here. So basically that's uh, the first type of Super Leggera we did, so free skate. And for this year, uh, we actually went with a full speed skate and <laughs> a wizard skate and an aggressive skate. So, so you have the Super Leggera yep. and? Super Veloce. Super so Veloce. yeah, Super Leggera is from uh, car industry. Uh, see the name on there. It's all within the paintwork actually. Um, so Superleggera name comes from Aston Martin that okay. uses it on his cars and uh, this one is Superleggera also because of the uh, the shape. Yeah, the same bottom, let's yeah, put it like exactly. that, same yeah, sole. So it's a raised heel and this is called uh, the Pista because it's only made for it's speed so skating. so low, yeah, yeah. it's insanely low, yeah. but very interesting is that the the liner also have a lot of structure. Yep. By the way, yep. if you're interested on how these are made, we made a whole very long, very in-depth video yep. about the process and like the the lab, let's call it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the pista. And then we have for this year in entirely brand new skate basically. So we made the dimensions of the Superleggera a bit bigger because it's a uh, base for aggressive or wizard skating or big wheeling, how you Can want I? to call it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so dimension wise, we put in a lot of work. So it, it's not as narrow, um, but it's a full UFS carbon uh, boot based on the Superleggera technology. Um, Weed? Yeah. So it's uh, this is the uh, UFS boot, which is uh, yeah made for wizard type of frames um, or just like a big wheel frame. It's super light. The boot is insanely. Yeah, it's it's crazy. <laughs> this is insane. I don't know how to explain. I wish you had the skill here because people have no idea. Yeah, it's crazy. It's... It looks yeah. It is the only weight is is actually to be honest within the frame. Um, yeah, and something that a lot of people don't know, just want to explain on Superleggera and Super Veloce how it works is you could be like, hey, it's a full carbon skate, it's going to be rigid, right? So it's going to be hard. Um, the way the uh, lining works within the shell, this actually has more of a flex feel than the, others, uh, the other skates we produce. Um, the reason is this strap is not attached to the shell. It is only attached to the lining. Oh, so when you move, it goes with the lining. So basically the forward flex is controlled is, by these. Yeah. And the shell is only used for the lateral yeah, exactly. stiffness. Plus, if we would uh, attach this to the shell, it would be stiff. But because it can move within, it's actually like the feel is very neutral at the top. Um, okay. Yeah. And one of the things is very important. 
these skates need a warm-up time of two minutes of skating it's like a car you need like a nice car because we have foam that uh, shapes to your feet in two minutes with body heat only so can I just go like <sighs> yeah exactly and then it becomes uh, more, more soft yeah and the idea with this foam it's really expensive foam uh, it was actually kind of made for us on demand and the idea is that you wanted to have a lot of support. what do you mean by kind of made <laughs> um, well it wasn't there before and okay. uh, I work very close with the company that produces our foam also in the Netherlands and I just gave them demands of what I want because if we would go with a normal gel foam or something else like a normal standard EVA foam basically that's what you get and that's it um, I didn't want that I wanted to have like a responsiveness within the skate that would when it's needed it's more solid and like um, gives more the, the feedback but it also needs to be comfortable so okay. I told them like what if we have like a very low uh, temperature where it becomes very like molded to your feet every time you put on the skate so now if someone is willing to pay that price yeah. they are able to also put it on whatever products they're making so good luck with that <laughs> yeah exactly yeah. Um, so yeah but that's uh, pretty like interesting that's extremely interesting but this was the thing so yeah. i got here for the first time last night and when i saw this i was like no way yeah. uh, how? Is, uh, how much does this aggressive scale will cost please. the boot only is 1350 so if someone buys the whole thing how much this please answer my question how much does this aggressive skate cost with the aluminum frame and Flat. It will be close. I don't know. Uh, Olga is uh, doing the, the calculations. Come but on. It will be How much? You can scream from here because she's behind. 1,600, 1,700. Um, yeah, something like that. How many of these will be produced during the year? Uh, depends. We have the build slots. Uh, so customers can choose one of these four types. And uh, there's a couple already sold that uh, in the know people that, that know that, we're, that we were going to make this skate. Um, they already ordered it, um, but for us, Super Leggera, Super Veloce, there is no pressure on what sells best. So if someone buys a Super Leggera, they almost, sorry, the, they use the word, but they almost become part of this cult. So yeah. when you have a new product, you share it with just with yeah, this yeah. group of people? Yeah, yeah, mostly they order already. Do you, do you the... take bribes to <laughs> join them? Actually, I don't. Uh, <laughs> we, ha we had a couple of customers that said, can you put me in the beginning of the line and I'll pay you 500 more. I said, no, I don't want to be disrespectful to yeah. other customers. And that makes yeah. sense. I'm just, what I mean by bribe is, is just to be accepted in the cult <laughs> in order to get the info. Because the truth is, let's face it, I have a YouTube channel. It, I'm not trying to be like a smart ass or anything, but we do have a lot of people that watch this. Mm -hmm. And for a brand, is something interesting. And yes, I am watching this one day before everyone else, yeah. but I'm not in a cult. I didn't know about this for a couple of weeks <laughs> yeah. or months. So I like that uh, it's with the motorbike industry or the car industry. Uh, when a car comes out and uh, you think, like, oh, I'm going to get that one, it's probably already sold and they haven't told you about it. Um, you didn't, so, you yeah. weren't part of the cult. No, and I'm a part of like uh, uh, um, MV, Augusta, oh, MV Augusta Owners Club and they actually put me on a list when they have special ones coming out and they ask you. So I like that feeling. I was like, oh, this is cool for to put in inside of our brand basically. Yeah. Well, uh, I do want to say something like on this one in depth more because it is the aggressive skate. Um, so this is the Sam Croft uh, Pro Skate. Uh, I think he waited 10 years for this one to come out. Um, Sam has been on Adept since day one. Um, so we worked with uh, Jelle Brigemann on getting the parts perfect. The alignment per skate is uh, the sole plate and the frame matches perfectly. Oh, so you do it every single size? The sole plate is per size. So we don't do, they all match CNC, perfectly. Everything is CNC, right? Yeah, this is a, no, this is actually, we're trying out different techniques with, with plastics right now. Okay. Yeah, so this is like a new development stage uh, with another company we're working in Italy. And uh, yeah, Sam has been testing it. He was blown away by the, how precise it was, the wear and tear. Uh, so yeah, for this, it's, it's all next level, even more expensive than the CNC machine work. I need work to tell you one thing. 
as someone who skated with Adapt Souls for a couple of months, yeah. even maybe years, yeah. I love it. And the reason why I love it is I always had a little bit of problem, at least myself, with the soap plate being a bit square in the front and in the back. Yeah. And this one is just perfectly fit. It is fully made for this boot. Yeah. So amazing. Yeah. Makes it also, you also cut some weight here. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a really nice plate. Uh, yeah, we put in way too much effort and budget. <laughs> you also told me something yesterday that was very interesting. So, one of the first questions that I made to Peter was like, what if we scratch the boot? Yeah, How you get a new one. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you do with a boot like this in case it's... My, my personal skate, uh, you can, so, with Superleggera, you fall on it, uh, it, it will scuff like any, like a bike or whatever. Um, to keep it black again, basically, you can use W40, spray it on, and then the paint scratches will become black again. Um, but the main thing with Superleggera, Super Veloce, is maintenance. We actually provide a service. So, uh, uh, one <laughs> you of the. You can service your skates at the yeah, factory. <laughs> yeah, so we can bring them back to brand new condition um, as long as they're not too far gone. But even then, we could. Um, a good example is most of the first Superleggeras are still being used and they got sent back for a, a service once a year and then we refit everything we make them look brand new again and then <laughs> customer can skate it again that's yeah. it and that's how we finish this video we're about to to film another video where we show you the rest of the collection which is not the masterpieces but they're still masterpieces yeah. so if you want to watch those make sure to subscribe to the channel make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like it. and if you didn't like it you can leave us a thumbs down but let us know in the comments what you didn't like about this video. What do you think they didn't like about it? I don't know. There's nothing. <laughs> anyway, other than that, just like I always say, just don't forget why we all started skating. And now I know that he knows why. For fun. Yes. <laughs> I'm in the serious <laughs> <laughs> Boom.